It's a stormy day out there. I heard thunder and lightning just here a minute ago. So if our uh, streaming is a little slow, it's because of the weather. But uh, we're here uh, all by my lonesome. Sheila's gone on vacation this week. Uh, so I'll be broadcasting from the church all this week. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've had to use a lot of tools in my life and uh, a lot of different things that uh, somewhat dangerous at times, some sharp objects, some uh, knives, things like that. But the Bible tells us that there's even a more dangerous implement or instrument that uh, we have, each and every one of us. There are many sayings that relate to the dangers of the smallest member of our body, the tongue. Besides a few birds that can be taught to mimic human speech, we alone have the gift of speech. Our words can either edify or destroy. The maxims of this little poem describes the tongue well. The boneless tongue, so small and weak, can crush and kill, declare the Greek. The Persian proverb wisely saith, a lengthy tongue and early death. Sometimes it takes this form instead. Don't let your tongue cut off your head. While Arab sages this impart, the tongue's greatest storehouse is the heart. From Hebrew wit the maximum sprung, those feet should slip, don't let the tongue. A verse in scripture crowns the whole, who keeps the tongue doth keep his soul. James uses a large, large section of his letter to speak about the tongue. In our modern translation, it constitutes most of the third chapter. Here are a few verses that tell us of the importance of the tongue and its proper use. Coming out of James 3, uh, verses 2 and 10 and 12. For we all struggle in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle the whole body. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Can a fig tree, my brother, bear olives, or a grapevine bear figs? Thus no spring yields both salt and fresh water. That tongue, it can be a thing of blessing or a thing of cursing. As Christians, the Bible exhorts us to be careful how we speak. Somebody's listening, and they're going to judge our ability to witness to them about Christ by how we speak. So guard your tongue and let God control, because if we don't, it could cost somebody their soul. God bless you. Have a good morning. Stay out of the rain if you can. See you tomorrow.